Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about a condition called CSR which stands for Central Serous Retinopathy. If you want to learn more about this condition then please stay tuned. begin by addressing the question what is CSR? CSR is basically when a collection of fluid builds up behind the macula and it can lift the macula. What this then means in real terms is that a patient's vision may become blurry. In addition to this, colours may become distorted and also straight lines or things that the patient knows to be straight such as the edge of a door frame may become wavy or distorted. Other symptoms that patients may also notice include the size of objects may look appreciably different between the two eyes, patient's vision may actually also fluctuate and patients may appreciate that in the central aspect of their vision there are missing spots. So the next thing to address is why does CSR occur? In most patients, we don't know why it occurs and therefore it's labeled as a idiopathic condition. In other patients, there are certain risk factors that we as clinicians need to try and understand and appreciate. And those are, does the patient have a type A personality, which means that they tend to be highly strung and stressed and find it hard to relax? Have they had a recent upset in their life that is causing them significant stress? For example, have they lost their job? Do they have any financial worries and insecurities? The next thing to consider is, have they been using steroids? This could be sort of a steroid through a cream. This could be an inhaled steroid. These are some important risk factors. Other things to consider are, are they pregnant? Do they have sleep apnea and also you can get CSR through a condition called Cushing syndrome. In terms of how CSR is diagnosed, usually the eye care professional that you see will ask you about your symptoms and based on your profile in terms of your age, your background and your risk factors, they may have a fairly good idea that you have a potential diagnosis of CSR. They will perform then a clinical examination and carry out um, various investigations including photographs of the back of your eye um, with a scan called an OCT. The OCT examination is painless, it's usually done at the time of your examination and it takes less than a minute or so per eye. In terms of the prognosis and treatment for CSR, in most patients CSR is initially observed and this may continue for up to three months and during this period and over this period, what patients find is their vision improves and the fluid will disappear. Unfortunately, this does not happen in all patients and patients may require intervention. In terms of interventions, these may initially begin by simple lifestyle measures and changes, such as managing stress and anxiety, therefore trying to alleviate stress, considering what medications patients may already be taking and if and when possible are substituting these for other treatment modalities. So if a patient is taking a steroid based cream, um, can this be substituted for something else? CSR affects different patients in different ways. Some patients may not even be aware of the fact that they have the condition until inadvertently one eye is covered. If you have presented to your primary eye care provider, they will probably have checked your prescription to see whether an up-to-date pair of spectacles will help. However, usually due to the fact that there's fluid present and this fluid level may vary, usually glasses are not prescribed whilst you actively have CSR. It's also important to remember that with CSR, it can relapse if you've had it once before. Thank you very much for watching this short snapshot video about CSR. I hope you've learned about what CSR is, how it can affect patients, what the risk factors are, and how lifestyle changes can have a big impact upon the condition. If you have liked this video and would like to see more in this series of snapshot pathology, then please do like, share, 
and subscribe. Also click the bell icon to stay up to date with my latest releases. If you have any comments, please do leave them below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for your support as ever. God bless you. Take care.